Hello everyone. It's me again, Jessica. Well, I guess if you found yourself here, you know how to spell it. But <laughs> just in case you got here on accident, J U S S K Y I A. Okay, well, hopefully by now you know I have uh, three or four previous episodes. And um, I please hope, I please hope, I hope <laughs> that you had a chance to look at those. If not, um, if you get time, I would appreciate it if you would look at those. So like I expressed at the end of episode three, part B, no, part C, <laughs> that this one will be um, me revealing um, something that happened in my life and it's, uh, it, and I'll just say it, we're going to be talking, I'm going to be talking about an experience I had, um, a situation that I was in and I was raped. So I will be discussing that today. And, um, and the reason why is because, um, you just never know what I, you know, I feel like if we would share quite candidly a lot more with each other instead of um, whatever, uh, no judgment, no whatever. I'm not even going to go into that because that's not what this is about. But I feel the purpose, the desire to share my life. I, um, uh, I I believe in the power of words and I believe um in the the unity of us learning and growing from each other. So like I said that will um I will be describing um and talking about uh what happened to me. And um I will also, I'm going to lead up how I found myself in that situation. So like I said, this is episode four. And um, I'm so glad that you're here. If you have any nice comments, <laughs> I would love to hear from you. If you have anything that you would like to share on in my comment um, area and please subscribe. I'm very new at this, but I know that uh, this is empowering. I know that um, if you go through this with me, not just me, whoever works for you, if I work for you, great. I love it. But if not, you know, we, we, we do best when we, um, uplift each other, you know, and, and, and be honest with each other, um, good or bad, but I don't think this is the platform like for bad negative stuff. But if you have that relationship with whoever and you can open up and be quite honest with, um, in expressing things that maybe you don't agree with, um, with your friend, you know, um, I don't use that word loosely. I know we call people on Facebook friends, and it took me a while to understand that because my daughter, she's not on Facebook, but she plays this game, uh, Roblox or and this other, she plays these things. And I'm like, what are you doing on your phone? She said, oh, I'm talking to my friends. I'm like, how are they your friends? What you know about them? But I guess we use that word in multiple different, I don't guess, <laughs> it's evident that um, my original thinking of friends was quite different. Um, to me, um, no, I, it, for me to call someone a friend, it, it, it takes uh, uh, more than, oh, you know them and you know them and then we're friends. But I understand now, excuse me, in the realm of Facebook, these are your friends. So thank you, friends. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. Don't leave me on Facebook and please follow me here. But um, anywho, okay, so let's get started. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate it. I really do. And um, I encourage you to um, learn from what I've been through. 
So if you've seen the previous episodes, you will see that I left off about 11 or 12. So now I'm 13. Okay. So at this point in my life, like I said, I'm an only child. It's me and my mom. And my mom has uh, a boyfriend um, at that time. And um, he, uh, very nice, an older gentleman. He was older than my mom. And um, he was nice. You know, he took care of my mom. Um, it was about them. It was nothing as far as he was being a father figure to me. He never, that I seen, tried to impose that. I never had, like, a father figure in my life, um, except for my grandfather. My grandfather, um, gosh, now that I think about it, my grandfather was killed um, earlier that year. I believe it was that same year. No, it couldn't have been. Yeah, I think it was. I'm not sure. Okay, neither here nor there at this point. But what I what I'm trying to express right now is I didn't have any idea what a a, a boy at that time for me meant. What it meant to like have a boyfriend or that you even desire a boyfriend. I never, you know, except for the 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 incidents that I described, you know, going to Grand Night with the boy telling me and then the uh you know, the other incident, um, um, with the guy, um, as far as, you know, how they treated me and pulling my hair and stuff. But other than that, I never had no concept of like relationship, like, um, I want a boyfriend or, um, I had no concept of what males or boys, how they are, are, anything. Now, when I looked, I mean, it was like nothing. I didn't, I don't think TV was really, or the TV that I watch was uh, like showing teenage girls, here I am 13, or young girls, um, like they do now. They really show like how a boy's supposed to treat you, what you should look for, you know, if you're looking at TV. And I'll, I, I really, I never had like no type of um no type of example of or or or, or another woman or young girl telling me like this is what how boys should treat you or this is what um if a boy like you or anything. I mean, literally, um, I'm going through this. And like I was telling you guys, I believe in episode one, I have gone through all of my life learning on the job of life. <laughs> I really have. And I don't regret anything. I don't regret one moment of my life. I love it. It made me who I am today. Okay. So with that being said, um, so somehow, and I don't know how initially I got there. So it was, um, I don't know if you guys remember, or even if the jungle still exists, but we would call it the jungle. And it was a whole bunch of apartments or, um, what do they call them? Projects or, but it was, it was huge. And I think if I remember correctly, they call it the jungle because there was like, uh, only like one or two ways in and one and two ways out. I mean, that's one in the same. And that's kind of what I remembered about it, but it was huge. It was nice as far as, you know, um, a lot of, uh, uh, people having their barbecues, hanging out, everyone kind of know everyone. I didn't live there, but on this particular day that um, I'm going to share, um, I was there. And I was there with, um, I, I, I'm almost sure, I don't know, my mom didn't, I don't know why my mom didn't come. I think she had to work or something, but I'm not sure. But her best friend, um, I end up going there with her, my mom's best friend, her younger sister, and um, 
her daughter and someone else. And then when we got there, it was a birthday party. I wish I could say names. I'm not sure if I can say names on here and it would make it easier for me. But um, it was people I knew and it was um, my mom's best friend, middle sister, uh, birthday party. But I rode there with my mom's best friend and her younger sister. So we're, it's almost like a park setting, but it's in the jungle. Okay, so I'm sitting there and I'm still, I'm not very sociable because, you know, I don't really, I only know them and they're kind of doing whatever. And I can just remember just sitting, um, they were barbecuing over here and um, it's kind of like benches or sitting areas within this community. So I'm sitting there and then this, uh, and, and, and I've always been a people watcher. So I'm sitting there and I'm enjoying, you know, and I'm just looking, looking at people interact and everything. So I noticed that this guy, I guess, uh, I guess he looked good. I don't know. All the girls were kind of like, oh, um, so-and-so and whatever. And I'm kind of looking around and, you know, for, for my young eyes, when I look back, I can tell like, you know, I think they like him or, or he seems cool or he seems popular or something. I, I was thinking something to that effect. Um, he wasn't over there with me, <laughs> but I could, I could see that off from a distance and then, you know, of course, at these barbecues, everyone's kind of drinking. Um, the, the adults, of course, I wasn't, but the adults were and um, different things like that and the food. So um, as the evening or as the day goes on, I really didn't get up and interact with people. It just wasn't me. And people weren't really coming over interacting with me like people I didn't know. And then even my my mom's best friend, the, the daughter, it, it, it just, I think I was just, I don't know, to be honest, I really don't know, but I just didn't, I don't want to say I didn't fit in because I mean, I was cool. I was there, but I wasn't one like, this is my friend or I have friends and people around me and we're hanging out and we're cool. Okay. I never really had that, but that's good too. Okay. So anyway, to get to the point. So I was sitting there and just, you know, every once in a while, like my uncle would come over and this is an uncle by marriage. I don't even think they were really married, but he was my uncle by marriage. And, um, 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 very, very nice young man. Very nice. And, uh, he was funny, you know, and everything. And then, so, uh, he, he'd come over. You okay, girl? He had his little drink. You okay? I said, I'm good. I'm good. I'm fine. You need to go over there. Go over there with the kids or something. And I was like, well, and I don't remember what they were doing, but I know he was like, go on over there with those kids and, or, or go do something he was saying. So I was like, no, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm fine. I'm fine right here. I'm like, and I really was, I was fine, you know, just sitting there chilling. So as he was saying this, remember old boy, <laughs> I told you popular boy. He makes his way over there to where I'm sitting and my uncle is, you know, just kind of being him. And um, so he came and sat next to me, but it's kind of a bit. So not right next to me, but next to me. He was like, hey, I haven't seen you or something like that. I don't know exactly what he said. And he did say, what's your name? I remember that. And I said, oh, it's Kaya. He's like, oh, I haven't seen you um, around here. And as soon as he said that, my uncle go, boy. Get away from her. She only 13 years old. This is what I did. I said, no, I ain't. <laughs> I said, I ain't no 13. And I remember saying it kind of just like that. I'm not 13. Um, and uh, he said, well, how old are you? And I looked at the boy. I said, I'm 16. And um, he's like, mm. and he mumbled something and. And I don't remember what else he said, but I remember he he left on. So a boy sitting here, here I am, 13, 
And um, I lied and said I was 16. And I'm sure old boy knew I was 13 or younger or whatever. I don't know. It don't matter. I don't know. So anyway, so he sat there and he was talking to me. And now that I look back, I guess I appeared lonely or, you know, like, because I was by myself. And, and maybe that is what happened now that I'm thinking back, <clears throat> excuse me, with um, predators or with um, um, men seeking women or, uh, or not women, men seeking young girls, I said. I should say, uh, whatever, but I really wasn't lonely. I wasn't like, you know, whatever. I was naive. <laughs> I was only 13. I was very naive. And now that I look back, I do, you know, I kind of see that after watching these shows nowadays, like to find a predator and, and, and how people are, how young girls are getting, uh, kidnapped or, are you know, abduct, abducted, 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 add, if you add to, abducted. Okay. Y'all know what I'm trying to say. So as he's sitting there talking with me and it, it wasn't anything worth mentioning about his conversation. Um, I don't remember if he gave me any compliments or anything like that. I would guess he did. I don't remember that, but I would guess he did. So he's sitting there. He's talking with me, and I'm talking with him uh, in his 13-year-old mind. Um so, he asked me, did I want some punch or something to drink? And um, I remember, no, no, I'm good, you know, thank you, I'm good. And um, I'm smiling and cheesing. I remember that because I'm like, why is this boy, actually man, <laughs> young man, sitting here? And I, I seen all the girls going and, and 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 when they leave, they talking about him. And I guess he was cute. He was cute. I didn't know what cute or anything was at the time. But everybody, all the other girls, they're like, yeah, you know, whatever. So um, I said no to something to drink. No, I'm fine. And then um, he said, uh, you you want to walk around a little bit? And uh, I said, sure, you know, because he come to me, <laughs> so I guess I'm thinking. And um, so we're, we're walking around the jungle. I don't really know this. I don't know this area at all. I've been there a couple of times before with my mom going to her best friend's house and other people's houses. So we're walking and then... Um, We get to uh, one of the, it, it, it wasn't like projects like I see now, like there is, it's all long where there's a door, 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 door. It was a, a narrow hallway where you go up to the second floor. So it was like, it seemed like each building might have had four in each building. So two downstairs, walk up the hall, up the stairs, and two upstairs. So he told me, he's like, oh, I live right here. I need to go upstairs and get something. I don't remember what he said. Not at all what he needed to go get. And he said, oh, come up. You know, I'll, um, once again, he said, I'll get you something to drink or something, he said. And I was like, no, you know, I'm good. And then he said, okay, I'm just going to go upstairs uh, real quick for something. Come on. Okay. So I walk up the stairs and we go into the apartment um, right off to the right. And there's multiple people kind of sitting down. Um, I don't know what they were doing at the time, but you can tell at now looking back, it was uh, um, just multiple people in there. I don't want to say, I don't even know what they were doing. They, it, you know, just kind of someone was in the kitchen. I saw a girl and it was a lot of it wasn't a lot of girls but it was young women not young women I don't want to portray that it it, it might have been an aunt 
you know, not very old. And then it was uh, uh, someone in the kitchen cooking. And he said, oh, right here. And then so I just stood there. I was like, oh, okay. He said, I'll be right back. So, I'm sorry. Okay, so um, this is the first time I've ever told this story ah! <laughs> in detail like this. I did share it with my mother years ago, and I will um, share later what happened. Um, I didn't tell my mother when it happened, but uh, so, and I didn't even tell her details. She didn't want to, she, yeah, that's just not her. So this is the first time. Um, in my life, I'm ever telling the details of this story. So anyway, so um, he said, wait for me right here. I don't know where, where he went. I think he, he got him something to drink. I, I don't know. So he said, oh, okay, you know, um, come right here. And I'm, because I was just standing in the doorway, and then you go right to the right. And then I realized, oh, it's a bedroom. I ain't think nothing of it, you know. So at this point, um, we're in the bedroom and, um, we're just standing up by the door and I think I thought he was going to the bathroom. I'm not sure, but there was a bathroom in that bedroom. So we're standing there and he's kind of complimenting me and, um, then he gives me a kiss and I didn't refuse, um. Uh, First time I've ever been kissed, actually, kind of, you know, and then whatever. I think he kissed me on my cheeks and then um, then he kissed me again on my lips, just a peck. And then I'll never forget what he said to me. Never. He said exactly. I know that this isn't all we're going to do. Those were his exact words. I can hear it right now. He said, I know this isn't all we're going to do. I had no clue what he was talking about. No clue. I ain't even never been kissed in my life. So I said, oh, heck no. I remember kind of saying it just like that. Like, heck no. And then what happened next? So, at this time, um, after I said, oh, heck no, and I said it just like that, he started kissing me more passionately, like, it was a little bit more, and I was like, wait, what? And then the minute I do, did that, I was like, wait, what? <laughs> What's going on? I didn't say this, but I, I pulled back because it was a little bit more of a kiss than I expected. And then when I pulled back from him and there was a bed, it wasn't right behind me. It was a little bit towards the left of me. Next thing I knew, he, um, he turned me around and, um, he turned me around and then face down, um, right on the bed. And then, um, it was weird because there was a pillow right where my face landed on. And I'll never forget that. There was a pillow right there. So, um, as I'm laying face down, he had his hand behind my head. And I was like, wait, huh? What? And, um, something like that. And then he pulled my pants down. And then um, my feet were touching towards the floor. The bed wasn't that high. So um, my torso and my pelvis was on the bed, but my legs, you know, and feet kind of hanging over. And my feet was touching. And then um, I could feel them holding my head down. And then um, I can hear... I don't know. I, I, I'm assuming it was a belt buckle or something and him doing whatever. It was, I can just, you know, move him, but he's holding me down. And I had no clue, no clue what was about to happen. 
none. I was so confused. I'm like, and um, so the next thing I realized, I'm screaming. I am screaming. And I don't mean like, like, I mean, I don't even, I don't want to get too graphic. Um, I'm sure I will go into more details um, in my book. I haven't got to, in my book, I don't start from the beginning. My book kind of goes the opposite direction, but um, I don't want to go into too much detail now about, but um, so he penetrated me in my vagina and um, quite forcefully quite jabbingly and I was just I remember that pillow and I was biting it and I was just screaming and screaming I couldn't believe it at this moment I don't remember the pain per se I don't I just knew it was hurting and I was screaming in the pillow though just biting it and screaming um, not even sure how long it lasts. I have no clue how long it lasts. And um, my heart is beating. Sorry. Not sorry. I don't mean, us women need to stop saying sorry. I'm not sorry, but my heart is beating right now. But anyway, so the next thing I remember. He got up and um, I was scared to look back, but then I looked to the side, my head still on the pill pillow, and actually I looked this side because it was to the left and because the bathroom was to the left, and um, I looked up and his pants were still on him and his shoes but they were down around his ankle, bottom legs, and he stumbled to get into the bathroom, but he ran kind of right in the wall, and I'll never forget this, and he's like, damn, girl, and I remember him saying something like that, damn, girl, and um, at that moment, I did realize that he liked it. When he said, damn girl, I just, the demeanor and how he said it, kind of leaning towards that wall to get into the bathroom. So I just, I still was laying there and then um, he stumbled and almost fell and got into the bathroom and he closed the door. So at this time, I set up on the bed and I was pulling up my pants and as I did this one of those ladies that I saw well actually the lady I saw in the living room she walked in the door she looked me dead in my face and I looked at her we locked eyes it had to be a good 15 seconds, maybe. She didn't say one word to me. And she turned around and just walked out the room like she never even saw me. And she closed the door. So at this time, I pulled up my pants, fastened them, didn't know what to do. And I just sat on the bed. I sat on the bed, it wasn't long at all, so maybe not even a minute. He walks out the bathroom, did not look at me, not once, and he went straight to the door and left. So now, I didn't know what to do. So I believe I sat there maybe a minute, maybe not quite, and I got up. 
I finally went to the bedroom door, looked in the living room, and um, no one was in the living room at this time. Then I went left, went to the front door, walked down the stairs, and went back out like nothing happened. Like nothing happened. So, the next thing I remembered this day, I was wearing light colored pants. And so now I'm kind of walking around looking for a familiar face, looking for my mom's best friend, looking for someone I knew. So at this time, I see, oh, I was about to say already, but I see my mom's best friend, younger daughter, I mean sister. She's older than me, I believe, but not by much. So it was her, and then it was my mom's best friend, daughter, as well. So my best friend's mother, daughter, and this will be her auntie because it's my mom's friend's sister. So we're kind of walking around, and I'm not saying one word. Um, I'm I'm always been kind of mm, happy go lucky, or whatever you know, optimistic. And um, the next thing I can remember, uh, my mom's friend's sister said to me. I don't remember exactly what she said. But she says something to the aspect of just know, something like just know you don't have to give yourself to whoever. Something like that. That's the way I took it. Like um, something like that. I don't even want to keep because I can say it multiple different ways because I don't know exactly what she said. But something like that. That's Adam, you guys. Um, something like that, she said. And, um, at that moment, I felt like, did she know what just happened to me? And never talked to her, never talked to nobody about it. So, as we were walking, I noticed blood is just going down my leg. Not my legs, like in my pants. Um, um, at this time, um, I believe I just started my menstrual maybe a year. No, I started my menstrual like at 11. So I had already known about my menstrual. But um, I, I, it was blood. And it was light colored pants, and I remember that. So I started walking so my thighs wouldn't, so you couldn't hopefully see. Okay. So like I said, I went on with my day. Then finally, um, I made it home. And my mother was home. Um, not sure how I got home. I'm sure someone dropped. I'm not even sure. So I get home and um, I just go clean myself up, change clothes. I want to say I threw the pants and panties and stuff out and uh, never spoke of it until like, oh, I had to be in my 40s maybe when I finally told my mom, maybe 30s. I'm not sure when. We'll get to that later. But anyway... So, I share this story um, of what happened to me um, because as I look at things that are currently going on, like with the Me Too movement and um, how men... You know, not all men, of course, please. I, 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 by no means do I think just because one person or type of person do this that 
all people are going to, or all this type of people is going to do that by no means. But I just started thinking, I can't imagine. Actually, I can, but even at, at that time, like how many young girls not normally find their self, found their self in a situation similar to that? And then maybe there's uh, women even now um, that haven't shared maybe something you've been through. Let me talk like this, like I'm talking to you. Like maybe there's something you've been through um, that you haven't shared, uh, feel ashamed of. I don't know if I felt ashamed. Um, I don't think I understood that word at the time. I'm not sure what I felt. Matter of fact, I didn't feel anything. I really didn't. I've, I looking. I was numb. It, 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 looking back, it didn't affect me here nor there. It, um, I don't know if I was thinking like um, that wasn't power. I don't know, but it really, in my mind. Here nor there. I went on next day and, uh, okay. It does go a little bit deeper though now. So, what happened? I'm sorry. My phone rang and it's linked to my computer. And um, anyway, okay, so let's say maybe not a month goes by. I started itching my vagina. Ooh, Lord, it was itching. It was, oh, and then I was having discharge. I knew something was wrong. I absolutely knew something was wrong. And, and I'm a type of person where I think, I think, I think things through. I think it, even I remember this at the age of 13. I knew something was wrong and um, didn't know what it was. But I know this ain't never happened, and I know what just happened to me. So um, I was itching like crazy, just scratching, and um, and I just kept washing myself and washing myself, trying to figure out why I was itching. And then I start having um, a discharge. At first, it was you know a little light, and I was like, I've never seen this before. And then a few days goes on, and then it kind of got darker like brown and then I'm just discharging and I just refuse to tell my mother I was like no my mother can get pretty worked up you know and everything the minute you tell her or the minute you say mama we need to talk she's like okay what and she gets on this other level that okay I just just didn't want to deal with that so I um I just kept going on and praying and hoping it would go away. So, um, it got real bad. It got real bad. And then, um, one day it just all went away. I stopped itching. The discharge went away. And, um, I just figured I was all cured. Um, I knew something was wrong and I just figured it was all cured. And I will give you guys a footnote here and um, it will go on in, this is in my book about, um, of course, now looking back, he gave me a STD and um, I did nothing about it, nothing at all. And it settled in my fallopian tubes. And um, as I got older and um, I wasn't getting pregnant, um, me way later in life, of course, and um, in my, my first marriage, 
desperately wanted a baby. And even before that, I kind of knew because, you know, in my early, before I got married, you know, I had sex, whatever, and everybody getting pregnant. And I'm like, hmm. And just kind of thought about it. I didn't want to. Or I, Actually, I probably, I did because I wanted something to love, you know, when I look back. But uh, for this intent purposes, um, 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 I go on, get married. And um, I figured out in my own thinking, and I, I think I was a CNA or kind of, you know, knew a couple of things about um, our body. And, um, and that stayed on my mind as far as looking back. And I just figured, I was like, I bet it's something with that. So it did settle settle in my fallopian tubes, and it made me uh, barren for, uh, you know, years. And um, in the midst of that, um, I went through some um, treatment. You know when they shoot the dye up your tubes, and the doctor, oh, yes, you have so much uh, adhesions in there, and... Um, it, it seemed like you had something that wasn't treated and, and, you know, and I already knew I ain't tell him. I'm like, hmm, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't, you know, and I'm in my mid third, my mid twenties now. And so they did the dye and all that stuff. And then I end up having surgery to clear out the adhesions in my fallopian tubes. And he said it was really my left. Ain't that a bitch. Oh. Sorry, but in my left fallopian tooth was the worst. And I can remember everything was on the left side. The bathroom was on the left side. He walked to the left side. That door, I don't know. That's just my thinking. I, I go way too deep. I'm sorry, guys. But no, I'm not sorry. Us women got to stop saying sorry. I'm not sorry. But anyway, that was my thinking. So anyway, so I go through all of that. And um, yeah. By the grace of God, I do have two natural children at this time, <laughs> and it's all because of God. It's all because of his glory and his grace, his love and his desire for my life. And um, before my babies, I'm glad I didn't have, you know, kids prior, of course, because you have, we have the whole thing of hindsight now, but um, I just encourage no, oh, I do encourage, I do encourage that we share more. But what I really want to say here, I just wish us as women, especially as friends, sisters, cousins, um, everything that instead of us trying to compete, um, Instead of thinking what someone might have, oh, they got all of this, or they don't have nothing, all these things, it really doesn't matter in the grand scheme of things. Because the bottom line is, if we would talk, And have the perspective of, even if you see this woman over here and you think she got it all together and you think there can be nothing wrong, she got money, she got the husband, she got the car, you don't know what she's been through to get there for one. You don't know what it what she's going through now or he. I say she, but I do mean both. Um, man or woman. And then you see this, this woman over here, a man over here that don't appear to barely could feed himself or herself, but could be the happiest and, 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 and have something to share and give, even though they don't have all this, whatever, <laughs> but they got a story, which is so much more valuable. They have a sense of God. They have a sense of spirit. 
And you get that way by what you've been through in life. And um, I'm going to end it there. I'm sorry. It's like going on 45 minutes. But I really wanted to share this. And um, I hope that it sparks conversation. I hope that in it, it, it encourages you to speak out about your story. Speak out about what you've been. It doesn't have to be like rape or anything. It could be anything. You never know who you will inspire, who you will encourage, or who you will challenge to take the next step in their life. Because they see when they hear your story, when you share, it's like, well, you made it through. Maybe I can too. And not even maybe. For sure you can. As long as you put your faith and your belief in Christ, all things, and I truly, truly mean all things are possible. Look at me. <laughs> okay, thanks guys for listening. Episode five is coming up. Woo! about yet but it's the next step please look out for me and um please follow me please subscribe i think it's on this side comment thanks guys until next time let's encourage let's inspire let's challenge each other i'm just kaya have a great one bye bye